yeah uh swarnata quickly introduce yourself i am swarnata sir i am born and brought up i am born and brought up from jangam district presently i am staying in hyderabad i completed my btech with a csc stream and i completed my mba and the post doctorate is 2020 now i am learning the core java and manual testing my short term goal is to be in a good position in a reputed company and my long term goal is to be in a in a position to serve the society yeah okay so what about your technical skills coming to my technical skills i am good at core java and manual testing and selenium and automation testing by using the selenium tool okay. so here i am going to ask some um, core java questions is it okay for you ha ah, okay sir okay so uh, tell me swarnata how can, how much of rate yourself out of 10 7 to 8 sir yeah okay yeah that's good so go okay so yeah okay uh, swarnalata coming to question so why we can say java is a platform independent independent what is the reason why we are saying java is a platform independent java is a platform independent language because we can run the code any in any operating system first the code will be compiled by the compiler and the compiler will be com compiled into the bytecode and the bytecode will be compiled and the jvm converts the bytecode into okay yeah uh, the script also like uh, you need to say in proper way so what is jvm jvm is a java virtual machine yes so you need to say like uh, jvm is the interpreter it can runs any way the okay so mm, jvm is yeah, interpreter okay. it can be run anywhere that's why we can say that yeah, okay. java is a platform independent language yeah uh, now coming to the other question what are the access modifiers like what are the different access modifiers contains in java the different the different access modifiers are public private protected and the default these are the four access modifiers in java yeah uh, that's fine so what is the main method in java so what is the main method public static void main string args is the main method in java okay without this main method what it will happen without the main method we can't uh, execute the program yeah okay uh now coming to the what is the static method static method is nothing but first uh, jvm executes the static methods and then it goes for the main method there okay. in for static method so, we without creating the objects also we can compile the programs by using a instance of a object not like that like mainly static is not changeable method so we cannot like override like that. okay let me tell what is okay we are following in a methods concept right so what is a method overloading method overloading is nothing but it will be having the same method method name and the will pass the different arguments is known as the method overloading okay when we have a same method name and the arguments uh, parameters of the arguments will be passed in different ways yeah okay so when we need to perform different ways okay like okay yeah logically say say the logical answer uh, can we override the static method 
like override we cannot static. override the static method okay override means method will following in the same class or a different different class overriding can be done by using the parent class the parent properties will be inherited by the child child properties yeah. through oh, the yes, subclass we can be. we can override through by using the subclass yeah okay so yes when we have a parent method name and class method name are same mm -hmm. in this time mm -hmm. if the parent method name is static we cannot override yeah that's fine so um, you know about that uh, what is a constructor constructor in java what through construct object creation is done through the constructors yeah okay fine so that the memory is allocated Okay, so mainly constructor is similar to class, and it look like same method. So it was getting the common properties, and it will be using to create a object to the class. Oh, sorry, object reference to the class. Okay. Now, so if I cannot create a constructor, okay, if manually I do not create any constructor, what it will happen? jvm direct mm, by default it gives the null values by giving uh, it as a default constructor it invokes a default Sorry, constructor JVM. as default jvm will create the default constructor okay default constructor so uh, you said the default constructor okay that's fine how many types of constructors we have there are two types of constructors default constructor and the parameterized constructor so can you tell the difference what is default and what is parameter so you need to say parameter and without parameter can you say example parameter is constructor example parameter is constructor example the method name will be same and we will pass the arguments Sorry. yes just we can say we will pass in some arguments we are uh, Arguments are parameters. We are passing. Okay, that's enough. Okay, so uh, you are saying that you know the inheritance concept as well. Okay. Mm, yes. Sir. So what is what is superclass and what is subclass? Superclass is nothing. Superclass is also known as the parent class. We okay. inherit the properties from the parent class or a superclass is known as the subclass or the child class. Acquiring okay. properties from one class to the another class is known as inheritance. Okay. Now, yeah, which keyword we are using in inheritance, like uh, to inherit one class from the class? Which keyword we are using? Extends keyword is used for the inheritance to implement inheritance concept extends okay yeah can we achieve multiple inheritance in java multiple inheritance can be achieved cannot be achieved can be achieved by interfaces by using the keyword implements yes in java we cannot implement like we cannot get this multiple inheritance so that's why we are approaching interface In yeah. interfaces uh, with the keyword implements yes yes that's fine so what is the mean of final variable final variable that that value can't be changed okay Suppose if yeah, you want uh, to, is static and finally similar? Static and final have the same constant value, but the final can be used for acquiring the constant value when we uses the 
inheritance concept that means in a subclass static yeah, in the yeah. same class with the different methods yes yes okay so what is a package in java what is a package package is a collection of similar classes interfaces through which okay. we can reuse the code easily yeah uh, that's fine okay so why we need to separate package why we need to uh, provide this package what is the use suppose if you want the same code is repeated in another classes or in another programs also we can just import the package so that the code present in that package can be reusable yes okay so without creating the package we can we cannot create a class we can create a without class so yeah finally what is abstract class abstract class is nothing but only the method is present but the body is absent the implementation will be not present in this abstract concept okay that's why so which keyword we are using for creating this abstract class abstract keywords is used to create the abstract class Okay, that's fine. Mm. Yeah. Ah. Uh, okay. So, can we create a direct object to this abstract class or interfaces? No, we cannot create direct object. We can create a reference. So. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. You are saying no. We cannot create a direct object. so tell me if there in a but how i can achieve this classes to use another another class by creating a reference sir like which reference okay reference we can say subclass so subclass sub constructor sub we can we can no, subclass constructor okay now so how many types of packages we have there are two types of packages user defined packages and the predefined packages any so give me some examples of predefined packages predefined packages java dot java dot util that java dot util okay java dot lang and java dot language these are util okay so these are coming under util okay so finally uh, i'm asking some abbreviations just go through with that uh, what is jsc java standard edition okay what is jdk java development kit Okay. What is JRE? Java Runtime Environment. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, finally, so uh, yeah, this is my side. Okay. So. These are the basics of the uh, Java question. Okay, basically each and every person know this type of things. Okay, yeah, uh, that's fine. Yeah, uh, okay, Swarnata. So this is about uh, my my side questions. You have any questions to ask? Which rating will you give me based upon my performance, sir? Yeah, I uh, see. Yes. So based on this. Questions are coming under basic, so basic uh, I can give. So what you are expecting, like a uh, eight out of ten, so I can also give that much of rating for. Okay, so thank you. Uh, like uh, while you are saying the answer, the communication good and the answer is good. 
so but uh, you need to make sure that not about uh, for six to seven lines just to make sure that four lines maximum you need okay. to explain in four lines okay so okay. based on that way you need to prepare your answers like uh, why because each and every person giving this type of answers so when i am asking the question he can give the answer okay that's is fine okay so but uh, we need to make it our answer in a four line this is good for us okay yeah uh, yes varnalata so yeah so this is about uh, this interview